Hello everyone and welcome to Golden Eagle as a Totem Part 1. I've decided to start splitting up the longer videos into two sections, um, both to make them more watchable and also because that means if I mess up I only have to record like one 15 minute section instead of a larger half an hour section. So this is for both of us. Um, also, even though this video is about Golden Eagle specifically, um, if you are a Harpy Eagle person or um, a Bald Eagle person, any other kind of Eagle person, then the information, a lot of it, will still apply to you. Not all, but a lot. So uh, if you're looking for Eagle wisdom, then this could be a good starting point for you. So moving right along, um, first off, the very fact that we're talking about a bird totem, and so all of us with bird totems, I have several, uh, means that uh, one of the primary concerns for Golden Eagle people is a need for freedom. So they want to be able to just take off and do whatever they want, when they want to do it, and nothing is more terrifying to them than being stuck or confined, and they will do everything possible to avoid that. Uh, also, physical injury is unbearable for these people. I mean, most of us, you know, don't like to be stuck in bed, but these people hate it to the point that uh, if they're injured or sick, they just won't slow down. Um, they're the ones who will uh, run a marathon on broken toes or do a CrossFit competition with an injured back uh, because the idea of sitting still is just so unbearable. And of course, this doesn't work out well because they tend to injure themselves worse and then they wind up being in bed for six weeks instead of six days. And so for Golden Eagle people, uh, a large part of their journey, and we'll come back to this, is really learning how to listen to their bodies. When their body is giving them a message that it is unhappy, there is a reason for that, and they need to honor it, not just acknowledge it and pretend it's not there, but honor that message and take care of themselves so that they don't end up confined for a lot longer than they anticipated. Now, Golden Eagles have some of the strongest wings in the whole world. And we're talking about an average wingspan of six to seven and a half feet. So I mean, these guys are huge. So these are really powerful birds and they're able to just climb to these enormous aerial heights. But part of this ability is the wings and the other part is knowing how to uh, find and flow with the thermals, the, the upward air currents. And finding those allows them to just glide effortlessly for miles and miles, and it allows them to do these you know, thousand mile migrations. So to accomplish these huge things as far as golden eagle people go. So this is a great thing, but knowing how to do it requires some practice. It's not like these birds just wake up and tumble out of the nest and, and know how to do this. Uh, they have to learn. And so for Golden Eagle people, it is the same thing. So it looks like these people are able to just flow from opportunity to opportunity to opportunity, always catching the next thermal, the next updraft, um, and that it is so easy for them. But there was a lot of practice involved, and they have to learn to cultivate patience. Um, this drives Golden Eagle people nuts because they're such amazing folks that people just think that everything comes to them easily. And part of them really likes that image. But there's another part of them that is frequently frustrated that people see how awesome they are and they don't see all the work that went into it. So uh, for Golden Eagle people, it is important for you to remember that um, people are looking at your image. You come off as spectacular. People are just going to think you're spectacular which is pretty cool. I mean, you know, why disabuse them of that notion? So this pattern though, um, the strong wings and the expert use of the thermals, it also creates people who uh, develop a momentum and they begin to feel infallible. They just don't stop. These are supermen and superwomen, especially the women. Um, eagle women in general are a force to be reckoned with. Uh, and people are always telling them to slow down. And this, again, drives them crazy because they know they have the energy to keep going. Um, the problem is that they are, their limits are up here and our limits are down here. But just because their limits are so far up here doesn't mean that they don't exist. 
And so the Golden Eagle person will ignore the advice of their physician or their best friend or their spouse or whatever, which is fine because that advice really doesn't tend to apply to them. They know they can push harder. The problem is when they push past the point of their own body and soul's advice, like we talked about before. For these folks, it is extremely important for them to become cognizant of exactly where their limits are. Because nobody else knows how strong they are but them. And if they push past those limits, again, they will end up hurting themselves and uh, being down for the count a lot longer than they would have if they'd finally gone, okay, that's it, I need a nap. Now, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Golden Eagle people have incredible strength and stamina. Again, they just keep going, going, going. They're like the energizer bunnies of the animal totem world. And they really know how to use air currents to their advantage. And so this enables Golden Eagles to put on these just incredible aerial displays. I mean, you watch them flying and it's just spectacular. They can dive at 150 miles an hour and then pull right out of that dive and be ready for another one. So what this creates in the person is uh, Golden Eagle people have a very extreme, very showy style uh, that creates a lot of admirers. They are never short on people who just think that they're awesome. Um, but part of being able to dive like this for Golden Eagles is the sense of timing that tells them exactly when to pull up, you know, before you smash into little bitty pieces. Um, and so what this does for Golden Eagle people is it uh, gives them a sense of timing that allows them to take risks that would just flatten other people. They know, at least the mature Golden Eagle people know, just how far to push and just for how long. And so death-defying behavior is just all part of the show for them. It's fun and it's exhilarating and they absolutely relish feeling like they're beating the odds. But again, knowing how to do this doesn't just happen overnight. They have to develop the faith in themselves that they can pull themselves out of that 150 mile per hour dive and snap open those great wings and, and go right up back into the air again. Um, Golden Eagle people often come extremely close to disaster uh, and sometimes death multiple times in their lives. And this is terrifying and it is often painful, but it is all part of the journey. They are born to create exceptional things, but to do that, you've got to have the faith necessary to take big risks. And you can't develop that faith unless you have been through loss and come back up again. So these people go through a lot of trauma uh, in order to teach them that no matter how far they fall, they really can flow right back up again. The universe really is going to support them. They really are that strong. So uh, if you meet a golden eagle person or another eagle person, you just think, man, this person can't have any problems at all. They just have everything just come to them so easily. Ask them about their history. It will probably be a lot different than you expected. So. Uh, golden eagles are the largest bird of prey in North America, and they have this huge attitude to match. Um, when other birds harass them, even large hawks and ravens, they just brush it off. Um, my friend Kenny, who lent me his wisdom to help me do this video, says that other birds are just like little mosquitoes. Um, golden eagles have these monstrous talons, and they will just lash out if they have to. So again, these are really powerful people, and they're also really aggressive. They're aggressive birds, and they are aggressive individuals. Um, if you confront them, you are in for it, because they will tear you to bits. They know exactly what to say to take you down about 50 notches, like the one thing that will just cut you to the bone. Um, also, considering their strength and power, um, these tend to be folks who can run the risk of developing an inflated self-image. They're awesome. They know they're awesome. And everybody keeps telling them they're awesome and they do awesome things. And so uh, combined with that um, rather blunt tendency to just say what's going on, uh, they can run the risk of losing their friends when they need them most. They really need to be aware that even though they are spectacular, they are human like everyone else. And uh, they need to be gentle with at least some of their friendships because otherwise 
when something happens, no one will be there to support them. I mean, it's great to be, you know, all powerful, except when you're not all powerful, and if no one is around to help you, then you've got a problem. So, um, Golden Eagle people, it is important to remember to temper your awesomeness with humility. So, um, despite the strength and attitude, interestingly enough, Golden Eagle people are actually super sensitive to chaos in their environments. Uh, a direct attack is a lot easier for them to handle than being surrounded by chaos or negativity or unhappy people. If you confront them head on, they're fine. But just having this stuff in their atmosphere is very damaging for them. Um, Golden Eagles require air currents to power their flight. And so when it's raining, this keeps them grounded. And so uh, this means that a Golden Eagle can't hunt when it's raining. And for Golden Eagle people, what this means, given that water represents uh, emotion, um, this means that when others around them are emotional or negative or when there isn't a new project to keep them busy when they're grounded, then they can feel really moody and really listless and they can take out that moodiness on everybody else around them. When everyone else around them is happy and when opportunities are flowing, then they feel really cheerful. Uh, when it's otherwise, um, then they're a mess. So Golden Eagle people can become too dependent on externals, uh, people, projects, uh, to keep them happy. And so part of their life path is to become more in touch with their internal world. This means learning to recognize when someone in their environment is toxic for them or is acting like a drama queen, and then they need to either leave or say something outright, which they usually do, or set some boundaries. Drama is not good for these people. It's unsettling, uh, and it keeps them from focusing in a way that allows them to accomplish what they need to accomplish, and it keeps them from feeling serene. Uh, so instead, what they need to focus on is what makes them feel relaxed, peaceful, um, because otherwise they will just buy into everyone else's histrionics or worse they will manufacture drama in their own lives to give them something to do when they feel bored or stuck. They need to be constantly going and moving and so when nothing is moving there has to be something there and drama is like the easiest thing to do. Oh gosh something's gone wrong. Oh this epic thing now I have a problem to solve. So part of being a golden eagle person is learning that a lack of momentum does not mean that they are doing something wrong. And it doesn't mean that there is something wrong. Uh, the next opportunity is gonna be there. It always was before, it always will again. And so a storm that keeps them grounded, for example, uh, may provide them the rest that they need to prepare for the next big flight, the next big project. So the key is to be patient. A mature Golden Eagle person is a patient person. Um, and when they're patient, they know that when the time is right, their heart will tell them what to do. They will naturally feel moved to do something that feels good instead of creating something artificial just to feel busy. You know, running around in circles just to keep running is not only pointless, but it, rob it robs them <laughs> of the energy and mental focus they need for the next big project. So, okay, we're going to stop the first video here. Um, I wanted to make sure I give a very special thank you to a uh, musician and wildlife photographer and all around just awesome person, Kenny Wilkins. Uh, Kenny works often with Golden Eagles and was kind enough to speak with me at length about all of their qualities and what they're like so that I could understand them well enough to do this video. If you're interested in seeing some like truly epic photography from somebody who's been in the business for 25 years and uh, has been published in some pretty impressive um, wildlife publications, then check out Kenny's website, which is uh, kennywilkins.com, uh, or he's also on Facebook at kennywilkinsphotography.com. You won't regret it. They're spectacular. Uh, also, with regard to me, <laughs> the, um, if you uh, have questions about what it means to be a golden eagle person, or any eagle person, or any animal person in general, if you need your dreams interpreted, if your relationship's a mess, if your life is stuck, if you are physically ill, um, I'm a multitasker, I work with all of these things, and so um, you are welcome to reach out to me to schedule a personal session. Uh, I don't provide casual assistance anymore, I just have too many clients, but uh, I am always happy to accept 
new clients. I work with people around the world, um, phone in the United States, Skype internationally. And so if you are able to watch this video, there is literally nowhere I, I can't work with you. So uh, you can check out my website, which is www.ravenlightholistichealing.com for directions on how to get in touch with me and also to read about uh, what I can do to assist you. You can also follow me on Facebook and Google Plus if you are just interested in my my day-to-day -day, um, commentary, which varies greatly. And uh, I believe that's it. So um, if you go over to Golden Eagle Part 2, you'll be able to catch the other half of this video. Cheers, my darlings.